Since 1940, the Industrial Development Corporation, IDC, has helped to build industrial capacity, fueling economic growth through the promotion of entrepreneurship and funding viable businesses. As a key partner in revitalizing the economy, the IDC focuses on priority economic sectors that offer the greatest potential to unlock job opportunities. Driven by our core values of passion, partnership, professionalism, we are committed to transformation and are proud of our 55% female employee representation. Just another way we ensure we reflect the demographics and needs of our key segments. This is an IDC at work for Africa and its people. The pursuit of inclusive economic participation has enabled a new wave of entrepreneurs, particularly black industrialists, women and youth who are bringing their skills, talent and innovation to provide solutions for their communities, the country and beyond. I am very proud to say to you today that my business is known throughout the world as the only woman-owned phosphate mine. Once the mine becomes operational, we will be employing almost 400 people in the Western Cape in the Saldana Bay region. What excites me about my business is that we're not just mining, we also beneficiate with the idea of doing it in a sustainable manner that will enable the farmer to have access to a cheaper phosphorus resource. It translates from mining to the table to what we eat. The IDC has reached out to me and said, Adelaide, we will hold your hand. We have confidence in you. We will help you grow. We grew up in a family that was business orientated. Uh, we come from Harangua, where our family used to own a chain of dry cleaning businesses, a couple of hair salons, etc. Which, uh, um, we, where we found ourselves in a sense that weekends, holidays, we had to go and work. And uh, our mother encouraged us to work together. So we, we grew up knowing and understanding that together we can achieve more. I would say that we've had a very erratic business in a sense that we grew a bit quicker than we planned or we thought. Where initially, I mean our first year, we turned over like 2 million rand. And our second year, we turned over 77 million. So besides cutting and bending, we can now build the whole complete thing. Besides that, we can uh, add powder coating to it. We have added the electrical division. So we can literally bring a product, start it from scratch and finish it without it leaving this property. There's also a lot of opportunities because you're black. A lot of opportunities because you're a woman. And unless you stand up and take advantage of those opportunities, you will continue to complain that there's no access to funds. I mean, for example, when we went to the IDC, uh, we didn't think that, you obviously hope you'll get the funding, but we didn't think we would get it and we got it. Because you had, we had a great idea and we had uh, um, great technical partners who, you know, we, we could show that together we can actually achieve ABC. We went beyond showing it, we actually did it. And we got the funding and it's not the only opportunity that we've had and that we've made a success. Not because it was difficult, or not because it was not difficult, but it's because we didn't give up. While the local economy has been characterized by uncertainty in recent times, the IDC has navigated this climate and remains committed to preventing deindustrialization, promoting the growth of new industries, while strengthening African economies. The Capital Bombella is our newest initiative where we partnered with Cube Capital, a Section 12J company that is 97% owned by black industrialists and uh, in partnership with Cube Capital. So we would never have been able to build this hotel had it not been for the IDC. We built it during COVID, uh, straight after the first wave of COVID. We were the only hotel group making a decision, let's build a new hotel. Uh, that sounds crazy at the moment if you think back at the time. In the end, we built a hotel on time, on budget, and it's the best hotel in Bombella and it created a huge number of jobs and it's been a big hit, but it wouldn't have happened without the IDC's funding. So the IDC, I think, loves the mix of black industrialists meeting the capital. 
The Capital Hotels and Apartments is a business that's been going for 14 years now and it has all of the know-how and is a leader in the world of hospitality. In an age where digital is the fastest growing economy, it is vital to bridge the digital divide and create globally competitive entrepreneurs. GQ Tissue Products was started in 2001 by my father. He traveled to the Far East and he saw the variety and price points of facial tissue in those countries. It's exciting because we're building, we've seen this business build from two employees to over 100. We've grown from occupying 150 to 200 square meter building to where we are today, which is over 7,000 square meters under roof. From the IVC, we uh, received two types of funding from them. One was to expand our business to new products, so they, they funded us with new machinery and they gave us funding for working capital as well to help us grow our business at a, at a faster pace. I'm Zureda Saib, the owner of ZA Gear. ZA Gear has been in operation for 27 years. We've been a very small company that has grown from just two people, which is my husband and I, to over 150 employees. The support from the IDC and the people that were in charge of the applications, they were absolutely efficient. And thanks to the IDC that we now have the new ZA Gear, which is now Design House and Skills and Development Center. Growing the national economy, contributing to reconstruction and economic development across the continent, requires sustainable partnerships. At the IDC, we use our competitive industry insights and professional expertise to partner with businesses and provide tailored, value-creating funding that advances inclusive industrial development. Visit idc.co.za. Let's partner for growth.